We'll be ready to go here. It's Wales and Nauru in the Division 2. Out the back there is Addy. Feb. Phoebe Addy, who's had plenty of the ball. Oh, can he do it all himself? Gee, no. They, they linked up well, didn't they? They've got plenty of space. They did right indeed. In the of the ground. A great, a very good start. As uh, we've got a bit of paparazzi, the uh, former commentator Josh Ward's Josh Ward. just taking some photos of us. Oh, why not? As Wales come out. Down the line on broadcast side. Mark was almost taken there. And then it was Smith that was wrapped up. And uh, it'll be a ball up right in front of us here. The Rocks go at it. It's great work by Addy to Rove. That's it to a teammate. Here's Aldoa. And here's Addy again on the right boot. Right foot snap. Well short. Someone still find a way in for Nauru. Oh, that's brilliant. Good finish. That is brilliant, but it's not a goal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we thought he put it through. but Absolutely. One player yeah. Wales is really going to have to watch here is Addy at the moment. He's uh, had a really hot start in the first few minutes, getting plenty of the ball in the midfield, and just find so much space. He's very quick to get away from opponents. Ripper starters. Wales come past the 50-metre line, which they can because it's bounced. That's all Nauru in defence at the moment. Here's Lang, he's wrapped up. And out the back there was uh, Kefis, who has to stop for the umpire, who's given a free kick to the Welsh. They're about uh, 40 metres out from their goal at the moment. What's the line up for it? Relatively routine kick in Australian rules football, but it's well short. Great mark taken by the Nuren defender who just puts on the Jets. And they're out through the centre of the ground. Great work. And here is, uh, well, it's Gary Addy who gets it inside the 22. Altoa is there as well. Oh, look at that. That is brilliant. And the celebration to match. Brilliant stuff there from Raven Altoa. They're just smart with the transition, Jono. They had the numbers over the top, and there was a two-on-one contest which they were just never going to lose. So I think it's... Uh, I think Nauru have their second, if I'm not mistaken. To try and keep track of everything that's happening today, but it's, uh, oh, it's a fantastic uh, carnival atmosphere. And whoever's playing that music to the left of us, I reckon turn it up, because it's actually pretty good. <laughs> As we restart in the centre of the ground... And the Welsh might be able to respond. Hasn't been given advantage or even the free kick in the first place. Has that man as Nauru bring it back. And they've got plenty of space ahead of him. It's uh, Aldoa appealing for it on broadcast side, but he won't get it. He's got open space ahead of him. Someone man him up. He's all by himself. Is he going to get the football? He put his arms out and said, give the ball to me. And why wouldn't he on that occasion as that man there he should have given the ball open. to him. His miss. He was wide open, that guy. And it's happened to multiple times, so they've, they're lucky to get away with it that time, Wales. But uh, obviously, they've, they've had a plenty of a space. Fantastic. It's been all Nauru so far. It has been. Great kick there from the Welsh defender. And a great mark taken. Beefy Blake. And centre field is Beefy. Sends a big kick. Only as far as uh, Kepe. And uh, a fair scrap results, but it's all Nauru. And they have been, it doesn't matter which team you're watching, the clearance work has been unreal from the Nauruans. As they continue to move it down as easy as they like. Oh, does it get any better than this? It doesn't. Another goal to the Nauruans. Did you see a number there? Blimey. That is unbelievable. This is just crazy from the Nauruans. About to belt Wales after going down 11-1 against the United Nations team. Just with the, the conditions, it's still quite wet out there. I know it's not raining at the moment, but very Nauru have been yeah. a lot cleaner with the ball, and I think every time Wales have gone forward, they just haven't, haven't been able to take uh, proper possession. 
Very blustery it indeed. Will take, it will take a bit of time just to adjust to the conditions. So we've got people right in front of us as we're trying to commentate. Umpire's picked out a free kick. It's going to go the way of the Welsh. And... Good chance to reset here. So, indeed, it will be. It's Ryan Long said it looked like that Naruan player copped a high one. I think it was uh, Kepe again in defence this time. They get it down. Here's Lang. Oh, just do it all yourself, son. He can't. It's wide. So they've, had, they've had their opportunities to almost just about put the game away. Three nothing at the moment. They might have already. They might have already done so. Uh, one one might argue, uh, Chief is Wales are very quick to rebound. High up and under kick. A one on one contest falls in favour of Wales. Oh, that's brilliant ball control. I think it was uh, Dylan Jones getting involved there in the one-two, but it's all no real at the moment. Try and come out to uh, Golhamad. Oh. Golhamad, you know, I can't say his name. So against... Let's just say the number seven. It was say Ali. Against Kepis here. All right. So it's going to be Wales, I think. That player, Gruff Edwards. Born in Wales, grew up in Oz. He's got a shot on goal here. Relatively tight angle in an Aussie rules football context, so he decides to centre it. Two on one contest. Harvey White he's was in there for the. He's kicked it. Welsh, and I reckon he's kicked it as well. Has he? There we go. It was up the left boot too. That. Brilliant. Outstanding. So what's that now? I think that's four. Four to nil. In fact, it's not that because they've kicked Wales the goal. goal. It's three-one. Yeah. <laughs> what was going on there in the brain department? Some people might ask. I did like the kick from the pocket there. It was a tough angle to finish. The no, no behind. So center it out and and give yourself an opportunity for a teammate to put it through. Yeah. Got so, whistle in the middle, John. I think it might be a three-three-three infringement, uh, but. Who's got the footy at the moment? It's going to be the Welsh again. So, you know what? They're still in this game, uh, I would I would certainly argue. Are, certainly Plenty are. of time left. They come inside the 22, but it's no room. But just for those listeners who are new, it's it's just the starting positions on the, first, on the bounce that it has to be a 3-3-3. Otherwise, Indeed. fair game. So three inside the 22, three in the mid, and three in the defensive 22 is... The umpire's picked out a free kick, going to go the way of the New Orleans. Goudin has had plenty that of the ball so is, far. That music is sounding very nice indeed. The man comes across, he was looking for Gary Addy. Ablett, I'll tell you what, look at this. Gary Addy, high up and under, it's well wide, but it's still going to find a teammate. I think it's Byron Lang, who was quick to move off his mark, but he's been called back by the umpire. You know what? Gary Addy. He wants to play on straight away. Yeah. His nickname's Ablett. <laughs> and fair enough, too. So, uh, Nauru was, will just regroup for the moment. So you can probably hear people just enjoying their day at the football. It's a good looking kick, but it's just wide. Umpire doesn't need to move there. And Wales will. Come down through the centre of the ground. The kick was probably intended for uh, Simon Thomas, I think. Moves well past him. Quick on the whistle. A very, very quick tackle and a quick whistle indeed. So the Welsh have a free kick inside their, f in, inside their attacking half. Might as well go for it here, I reckon, Ryan, because... Absolutely. What have they got, to, got lose? to lose? Except that wind against him. The though, match, yeah, it doesn't help. It's been swirling all day. This is brilliant. Out of the pack from the Nauru defender, but cut off there by uh, Southwell, Southwell, who sends a high up and under two on one contest in favour of Nauru. Oh. The meat in the sandwich there, that Wales player. Uh, well was done to taken out. He was under the pressure, had one behind, one in front. Just held as his result, ground to, uh, to win a free kick. As a result, it's Febby Addy to have a free kick, and he's given away a 15 metre penalty as well. So, what was the penalty there for, John? He's gone across the mark. Across the mark. (laughs) 
So here is uh, Hugh Edwards who sends the kick. No. It is through indeed. And they're within one goal here. It's been an interesting game. In the first half. Nuruj, I know, has probably had most of the possession of the ball. They've gone inside there attacking uh, half quite a lot, uh, uh, quite more times than Wales. But every time Wales has pushed forward, they've seemed to be able to make the most of the opportunity. So yeah. keeping themselves in it. They are indeed. And there's still plenty of time left in the game. So who knows? Plenty of action still to come. Up goes the football. Just touched by the Nauru Ruck and then out of just out of the blocks is Gary Adi oh. sent here towards the intended target who dropped it. And I believe it is a free kick to the to that man. It's uh, Jaden Watkins. Unless that's a 17, I believe that's 19. He's got a bit of rumble. But we've also box. got a goal. A very quick response indeed. And it's uh, the score chief. I <laughs> lost my marbles a bit. Well, I hope it, uh, we believe it's four two. Yes. So I've just marked. I've just marked it incorrectly. Is what I have. Four two. You guys probably see the uh, scoreboard on the um, on the broadcast, but we unfortunately can't on this occasion. Plenty of noise and people enjoying the football, which is uh, it's good. It's one, good. Of the, one of the yeah. great things about um, AFI footy. And a good turnout considering the conditions. So if you ever think about playing footy nines, this is the people to play it with. and It's great atmosphere as well. So. Kick forward for Nauru. I'll tell you what, that man in the goals just raised his hands to the heavens and said, Hallelujah, it's another goal, and they've scored five. Ryan Lock. Great finish by Watkins. He's a good mark of the ball and um, a great finish. He's got a nice right boot. And I love the, the cultures of the different countries here and the, the jumpers. They look fantastic, John. Of course, the, uh, the country eligibility, you have to have a grandparent or parent that... Uh, was born in or lived in that country even. And, uh, plenty of players have fulfilled that criteria today. Nauru just piling on the pressure. Getting involved there was Holstead. And a uh, free kick has been picked out as players rise. It's a free kick to the Welsh Wales. once again. Just near their defensive 10 metre line. Going in short to that man, Gary George, two first names of the high up and under. Coming back to the middle coming here. Back, so though. I believe he's coming back, He's going back to Dylan Jones. Interesting. So he's let it fly. Let some precious time off the clock. Who knows? So here he is. Sends it inside. But this is where they, is they've that been able to, trusty. to really get him on the transition. They just seem to be able to have so much more space. As they do again on the, the far side. Ryan Long in the match analyst role, but uh, looks like we'll have another hold up in play. In the name of set kick control, here's Botalanga, the Camrod variety. Will look to launch it big. He does that indeed. <laughs> dropped short of the intended target. He dropped it. That man uh, might have been Halstead, I think, as well. Great play there. And here's Gary Addy, who does very well. On the target there. The captain. Uh, well, there you go. So the skip. Ratab Lee. Yeah, I think that's Ratab Lee. He's hit the post. It's play on. They still have a chance. That room. They make the best of it. It is my favourite rule in World Nines. Footy Nines for a reason, Ryan Long. I'm always going to get up for one of those. <laughs> Another goal to the New Orleans. And Al said, just put himself in the right <laughs> position. Didn't he crump it at the post? I actually didn't know that was a rule. So, Oh, we talked about it in the group chat, mate. We Come did, on. We did. That is brilliant CY, play from Nauru. And I tell you what, I look at Josh Ward and think, mate, I told you so. 
brilliant as the siren sounds to conclude the first half. It is all happening here 